There's a secret ability in NHL 24 on par with the likes of Elite Edges, Unstoppable Force, Truculence, and Close Quarters, and no one uses it. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but if you look at a tier list by a content creator, a professional, or just a fan of NHL 24, you will consistently see this ability is ranked in S or A tier. It is barely ever by anybody ranked anywhere below that. Yet when you hop into a public match, you rarely see it as much as the abilities that are ranked next to it. It's got to the point to where when I see this ability, I know they're probably going to be a good match. And the ability I'm talking about is Shutdown. Shutdown combines Truculence, stick em Up, and Ice Pack and only works in one-on-one -on -one situations. I'm going to break all of this down, why I don't believe Shutdown is used as much, and why you should be using it. Reading the description of Shutdown is one of the longest in the game, but it's very simple. It just combines three abilities, puts them into one, and it only works in one-on-one -on -one situations. I think this throws people off. It gives them that jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none type vibe. And the one-on-one -on -one can be kind of weird. It's just a long description for what is really at its core the most versatile and one of the most powerful defensive abilities in the game. I'm gonna start with the one-on-one -on -one aspect. This is useless. You might as well not pay attention to this. You will never see it not activate because you're not on a one-on-one. -on -one. What it means by one-on-one -on -one is if there's two people standing right next to each other. If there's two people on a rush on either side of the net looking for a backdoor tap-in, your pokes, your hits, your shot blocking will still be very powerful. That will not cancel out the ability. It will still light up. Next, you might get the sense that because it's giving you all these abilities in one ability that you're getting significantly weaker versions of Stick em Up and Truculence. I'm not going to talk about Ice Pack from now on because it's kind of useless. It is the most least valuable part of this ability, but it is not as powerful as Truculence. Truculence still is the best defensive ability in the game. It's so broken, but it is one step lower. Along with being one step lower, it gives you almost the exact same poke check as with Stick em Up. You are not getting heavily nerfed versions of these abilities with shutdown. You're getting almost just as powerful in Truculence. Truculence is a lot more powerful. Stick em up is a little bit more powerful. But overall, I think the value for shutdown is much higher for a few reasons. Reason number one is how low you have to have in attributes to put shutdown on. Only a 75 stick checking and a 72 defensive awareness. Compared to Truculence, and I'm going to be comparing to Truculence a lot because I believe Shutdown and Truculence are the two most valuable defensive abilities in the game. And if you're going to use one, it should be one of these two. The problem with Truculence is you need an 84 body checking. For some of the smaller builds like a Dangler or a Sniper or a Playmaker, it can be difficult to get to that threshold. You might need to tank some other stats, but with Shutdown, not only can you get that very easily, but it also makes you a much more versatile defender. You can still push people off the puck, but now you have a great poke check as well, which is deadly along with high speed builds. The second reason I like shutdown more than truculence is because, believe it or not, I think truculence takes more skill than shutdown does. I know what you're saying, you just put truculence on and then go hog wild on the other team, but that's not necessarily true. You'll definitely run into people who do that, but for the best truculence users, they're great with timing, they know when to attack, they have great gap control. To be an extremely great truculence player, you need to be a great hitter. If you wanna be a great shutdown player, you have so much versatility to you. That's what makes this so powerful. Maybe you're not that great at hitting, but you still want that option and you're an amazing stick checker. Maybe you're a great hitter, but you want a little bit more juice in your stick check. Again, it just makes you a way more versatile player. I think if you master truculence, if you're a great hitter, if you don't get the penalties, if you don't miss the hits, then use truculence. It is the best defensive ability in the game, especially if you are a great hitter. But if you do struggle, if you overshoot your hits, if you're leaving people open behind you, whatever it might be. The only problem with shutdown is you can only get it gold on a defensive defenseman and a two-way defenseman. Now, silver shutdown is an amazing ability, but with gold, you become an unparalleled defensive force. Before I show you some amazing shutdown builds, did you know only 15% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed? Go down and click that sub button right now. Let's get that to 16. Like the video if you enjoy and go to the first link in the description. Follow the Twitch if you want to catch us live. I have two builds with shutdown that I want to show you. One is a dangler, the other is a two-way defenseman. I'm going to start with the dangler and really you can kind of make this build with a dangler, a playmaker, or a sniper. Same height, same weight. Just make sure you match the play style stats in order to unlock shutdown and then put whatever you want in power, technique, tenacity, and tactics to match your play style. But 
I'm going with Gold Elite Edges, one of the best abilities in the game. Gray Close Quarters, one of the best. And as I've talked about today, Gray Shutdown. Gray Shutdown, especially at six foot one height, gives you an amazing poke check. And even though you're only 160 pounds, you can injure people, you can knock people out, you can toss people around, you can get the cheesy push off animations along with being a 94 speed. Simply putting shutdown on any of these smaller builds makes it an absolute force on the defensive side, but I told you I had two builds and the second one is a two-way defenseman. I had to put gold shutdown on here, I'm rocking it, and I'm also six foot four, an incredible stick length. Your poke check is gonna be out of this world and you can take the weight down for more speed because shutdown will boost your body checking by so much. Elite edges, again, a great ability. And if you want, replace tape to tape with almost anything your heart desires. If you go for a lot of screens, boost your wrist shot a little bit, put something on like seeing eye or heat seeker. If you want even crazier defense, it's not the best ability in the game, but quick pick will make you an absolute nightmare on top of shutdown. And if you want to take it a step further, I would not personally advise using this build. You're going to get a lot of rage quits. A lot of people are going to be pissed, but put quick pick on no contest and shut down. This is the worst defensive build to go up against 92 speed shut down. No contest quick pick 88 defensive awareness. I would not put this build against my worst enemy. If you hop into threes and just stay back, you'll get shut out after shut out after shut out after shut out. You could even remove steady strides, take that acceleration down, especially if you're gonna play conservative, up your body checking with booming hits or defensive awareness with positional IQ. Either one, you're gonna get bigger hits or more takeaways through interceptions and whatnot. This might be the lamest build I've ever made. It is pure defense, a pure lock, but it's not the build I'm gonna be running in the gameplay. I'm gonna run the build I showed you first with elite edges and tape to tape, hop into a couple of games. If you're not sold on shutdown yet, just watch the gameplay, watch how much of an impact it has on the ice. And if you haven't already, go hit that sub button. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Oh, that hit. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's because yeah, you're late for practice, goals, that's goals, your fault. Yeah, you're late for practice, man. That's why I don't pass to you like that. See, what? allergic to scoring. Money. Yeah, allergic to scoring Money. good goals. <laughs> allergic to scoring good goals. Ow. Oh, fuck. Yeah, six, four, four. Dickhead. Oh, shit, he didn't even fall over. Man, nice. give me my get back. Oh, I'm coming. Look at this saucer pass. Just kidding. Oh, Boom. Oh. oh. Money. Oh, okay. damn. I know Rick's got that. Just damn, you just want to. Oh, what a save. Me back to you, bro. Who the fuck hits that spin, spin move? move? Who the <laughs> fuck hits that spin move? <laughs> I had to do it. Logan's in that man. Shit out of me. I didn't. Back fight. to me. Back to me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good stop. Oh. Oh. Wasn't that bad? Mm. God damn oh. it. I'm back. I'm back. Give me this. My oh long my stick. Drake, oh. What you know about Drake? Oh shit. Us. And he was talking about some kids and shit. Bro, oh Logan, can God. you make a save, bro? You're so ass. Logan. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, you gonna me, bro? Oh, holy shit. I'm gonna yeah, turn the yeah, chapter yeah. to the new page in my own Where, story. Where? I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh. oh. Cut that. Flip that Erase back. that what? from the timeline. Why? Why are you hate? That's a Rick one of one. Like, hey, one man. of one Once Rick play. Oh, oh. Ben, oh, that's you really best wrong. post this bit, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna cut all your saves out, though. Worst goalie. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst goalie in NHL 24. Hate you. I gotta skate faster than that. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yo! <laughs> hey, you didn't hear the best bit of go, tonight. Let's go, let's go. Slap so. it! Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh. Yeah, oh. he just hit me. Oh. You just got that wombo combo. Come on. Oh, oh. snipe. Good hit. Holy shit. Wait, 200 foot player. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Oh. 200 foot player. How's that shit better play? Oh. I didn't like that. Oh, Yo, word. Also. Type shit. Type shit, <laughs> man. Come on. Mm. Three on all. I'll take this guy out. What? <laughs> this game sucks. 
That's criminal. This game sucks. This game sucks. <laughs> this game sucks. Gotta <laughs> push. Oh, look the pass. Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't wanna play this. I don't wanna play this game no more. I don't wanna play this game no more. <laughs> Rick's just trying to sell. His game name now. is Mike Hooch. <laughs> no, it's Hooch. There's no C H. It's just H O O O. And it is a C H. Not bad, not bad. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Rick, you are dumb as shit, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Was that loud? Over. Boom! Nice turn over. Nice turn you over. looking nice for this? Over. We gotta tie this John up. We gotta tie this John up, man. Rick, oh. saying it twice won't do jack shit. <laughs> Say it a third time. That might do something. We gotta tie this John up. <laughs> <laughs>